Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 8D notes on factorization when the leading coefficient is not equal to 1. Okay, this, is, uh, this can be tricky factorization, um, but at the end of this you should be able to say that I can factor a polynomial when the leading coefficient doesn't equal 1. Okay, So with that, let's just jump into it. So when the leading coefficient is 1, it's nice because we can just do the backwards attack at this. We say the factors of 2 that add up to 7 but that is um, obviously not going to work here. So um, really your best bet on doing this, there's uh, lots of different ways you can do this, but probably the best way, especially for future math classes, is to do what we call the OI. And that is really basically just kind of a guess and check. So what we're going to do here is we are going to factor this thing out. Okay, so we want to find the factors of 2, which is which are just 1 and 2, and then also the factors of 3, which are 1 and 3. Okay, And we know we have to multiply the first terms to get an x squared, so we'll put an x in there. And then now we're just gonna we're just gonna guess and check and see if it works. So we want to put the factors of 3, which are 1 and 3, and again I'm just gonna guess and just put 1 and 3 in the front here because I know that when I do the f part of FOIL 1x times 3x gives me 3x squared and then I'm also going to want to put the 1 and the 2 in here in the ends and again I don't know where they go so I'll just guess and put 1 and 2 um, because I know that when I do L for last 1 times 2 gives us our 2 now what we have to do is we just have to check to make sure that when we do the outsides and the insides together that we get 7x so again we know that f is good and we know that L is good from FOIL um, that gives us our 3x squared and our 2, so what we really need to check is just the outside and the inside, hence the OI. That's why we call it the OI version, because we're just checking outside and inside. So, multiply the outside together. Oh, we got to put our signs in here. The positives tells us that the signs are the same, and this positive tells us that they're both positive. So, we check the outsides together. 1 times 2 is 2x. Check the insides. 1 times 3x is 3x. Add those together, and we get 5x. We wanted 7x, we got 5x, so we know that these are not the right factors. All right, so what we got to do is we have got to get rid of this. We got to we got to switch one of the sets of factors, either the one and the three or the the one and the two, and it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna change my one and my two. All right, so I'll take that out there, and I'm gonna put two and one, and then we'll oi again and see if that works. Okay. So 1x times 1 is 1x, and then 2 times 3x is 6x. When you add that together, you get 7x, which is what we wanted. So then we know that these are the correct factors of this here. Okay. Now again, if you were to FOIL this all out, you'd end up getting this trinomial back. Okay. All right, let's take a look at another example, and then away you go. Uh, first thing you always want to look for is common factors. So 6x squared plus 19x and 10 don't have any common factors. If they did have common factors, you want to get those out first. Um, again, this doesn't have any, so let's jump straight into our factoring here. So again, I want to find the factors of 6, the first term. It's either 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. And then also the factors of 10, 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. Okay, now um, if you'll notice, there's a couple different sets of factors that we can try on each one of these. So um, this could possibly take longer. Now, the smaller this number is, the more likely that these numbers, these factors, are going to be closer together, like the two and the three and the two and the five. The farther, the bigger the number is, the more likely it might end up being one of these. I'm still going to just test out my two and three and my two and five just to double check. Okay, so again, I'm just going to guess on this and see what happens. So we'll do 2x times 3x and again it doesn't matter which one I put where because we're just guessing. And then I'm going to put my 2 and my 5 in. 2 and 5. Alright and again this is positive so the signs are the same. This is positive so they're both positive. Okay. Now when we oi this out 2x times 5 is 10x and then inside 2 times 3x is 6x. 
that gives us 16x we wanted 19x so we're close but not quite one other quick note on this is I knew before we even before we even started this that this would not work because these have a common factor of 2 and you could factor that 2 out but I know that this does not have any common factors so I know that since this has a factor common factor I know that this would not end up working out and if you remember that great if you don't remember that it's not gonna hurt you at all but just a little bit of a um, side note that could make life a little bit easier on you okay so um, let's try this again so again I am going to just switch a set of my um, factors so I'm gonna switch maybe the two and the five around and see if that works alright so I'm gonna put five and two and we'll oil this and see what happens 2x times 2 is 4x 5 times 3x is 15x add those together 19x is what we wanted so then we know that these are the right factors for this okay let's just say this had not worked if this did not work out to be 19x then what you'd want to do is take a set of the factors out and switch them with say the 1 and the 6 or the 1 and the 10 Okay, but again, it did happen to work, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so um, that's really all there is for um, factoring when the leading coefficient isn't isn't equal to one. So um, again, we'll just try some of these out, and then you can say that I can factor a polynomial when the leading coefficient does not equal one. All right, please feel free to ask as you're uh, working on these um, for help if you need it. Okay, thanks.